So you wanted to get started by Instagram ads inside your Facebook, Instagram, or much more. So hey there, today I'm gonna to walk you through the process of running ads for your Shopify store in 2024. First of all, let's set up a Facebook business manager. If you focus and go directly into business.facebook.com, you might be sending to get started here into the business.facebook.com. This is the part where you can just get started importing all your accounts and of course get started by creating ads so in this case the first thing to do is to ensure that you have a facebook business manager account set up if you don't it's going to be asking you to start with a business portfolio so head to the business.facebook.com as you are here and create your account here let's go for create a business portfolio when you create a business portfolio it's going to be asking you to import your Facebook and your Instagram account in order to continue. Once you do have both of them already been added, here it should be appearing the actual dashboard of the business Facebook.com. So now in order to connect a Facebook into Shopify, connecting the Shopify store to Facebook Business Manager, directly let's go back, let's add a new tab and logged into your Shopify store. Once you are logged in, you might be prompted to select this left part that says sales channel. So inside the sales channel, I'm gonna click here into the upper side and I'm gonna type Facebook. Or in this case, I'm gonna just type Meta. So as you can see here, it's the Facebook and the Instagram um, set it up section. So what you want to do, of course, is to get started by following the prompts to connect your store to Facebook and Instagram. So make sure that when you make the installation, you have the other tab with your Meta Business Suite open. So I just hit into connect my account. I choose connect. And then both of them should be appearing now in no time here. Now the next thing to do is to get started with your Instagram ad. So it's time to create your Instagram ad campaign. So directly here into the Facebook Business Manager, you can click here into the home section. And once you're here, you want to make sure that you checked out the, all the tools. Directly here into all the tools, what you want to do is to focus directly into the advertised uh, section and focus into ads. So here I'm going to click into Ad Manager. So this one should be sending me into the Ad Manager of Facebook so I can get started with my very first adding account. So here, as you can see here, is my ad account, and I can focus into create a campaign. So this is the part where I wanted to create an Instagram ad campaign. So once you have chose the element of the campaign objective, since this is for Instagram, what I truly suggest you is to choose the traffic. You can choose a different campaign objective. For example, if you wanted to make some sales, you can choose this option, a promotion, leads, engagement, awareness, and traffic. In this case, I'm gonna focus into traffic and go for continue. Now in this case, it should be, it is something new to make the recommendation set up to maximize your performance. If you want to enable this, you can do it so. If you don't, you can choose a manual traffic campaign. This is for people who wanted to use pre sale campaign optimizations to help meet your goals. And of course, include advanced plus audience, advanced plus placements, and so much more. So I'm gonna choose this option and go for continue. If you already know how to get started with some ads, choose the advanced uh, option. Now designing the actual ad created. So here's time to design your ad created by choosing the eye-catching visuals and compelling copy to showcase your product. But first, let's focus into the campaign setting. In this case, I'm gonna go for campaign name. Let's go for Instagram uh, Shopify one. Now in this case, the special ad categories is not, uh, let's say, required for us. So we are not related or requesting anything here. So you just, you just leave this as it is and go for next. Now here's the ad set name. In this case, let's say, for example, let's go for ad traffic number one of Shopify. Now the conversion location, usually what I do is to choose a website, which in this case is the website of the Shopify. If you have another application, another website to do, then choose it so. In this case, I'm going to choose that. Let's go back here. And here I have my daily budget. Inside my daily budget, the more you waste, uh, the more results you might be getting. So check out here into the right part, the estimate daily results from the daily budget. So if this is okay with you, let's scroll a little bit down and focus now into the audience controls. So here I'm going to choose for the location, choose the minimum age and the language my actual client should be speaking. So the more you specified what you're actually aiming for, 
you might be having list daily results or let's say more likely to click into your actual uh, ad of Instagram. So in this case, I'm going to just scroll a little bit down and choose my audience suggestion and lastly the placement. Into the playlist, you want to make sure that the ads on Instagram Reels, everything about Instagram is now been added. Now I'm going to hit into next. And lastly, what I just need to do is to add the ad I wanted to add directly into my store. So I choose my Facebook page. I choose my Instagram account. Here's my ad creative and I add my media. You can choose a post from your Instagram account if you want to. If you don't, you can upload your own content. Make sure that everything looks great or choose a recommended size and make sure it actually looks great when it comes to making the design of your product. In this case, actually it doesn't look that bad. I'm going to hit now into next. And this is the part where you can optimize this. I'm going to enable all the optimizations and check out how it actually lo looks when it comes to adding music. And lastly, tracking an automatic campaign. So once you're hitting to publish, your ad should be live. And once your ad is live, you can monitor a performance closely. You can track the key measures like the click through rate directly inside Ads Manager. You can check out the bid strategy, the budget you have just spent, how many people check out your reel, the impressions, the cost of results, the amount spent. So if you wanted to make changes to, let's say, add more landing clicks and sell much more, I can totally recommend you to wait up to one week before you make any changes after you go live. So guys, there you have it. You're now equipped with the knowledge to run successful Instagram ad campaigns for your Shopify store. So remember to test different ad creatives, audience, and strategies to find what works best for your business. If you find this tutorial helpful, guys, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more Shopify tips and tutorials. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Happy advertising. See you next time.